So e-citizenship is a component of the Mer American Democracy Project, and it's basically in a, how you'd be able to incorporate um, technology into service learning, social media into civic engagement, um, and that's what we're trying to do with the project. Um, well, in our conference in Detroit, we try to come up with a project that would um, enable all students, regardless of dif discipline, major faculty, and professors to um, sort, of, sort of do a joint project with the community. And Vision 2020 is a great project. Um, its mission is to for Cheshire County to be the healthiest community in the United States by 2020. So um, it was actually a, a funny story. I was sitting on my um, on my uh, couch at, at home, and I, my phone buzzes, and it's a direct message on Twitter from Mel Netzhammer. So not only is it the provost of Keene who's sending me a message, but he's, and then I read the message and he says, you know, would you like to meet sometime? We want to involve you with a project. So basically from the beginning, I was very interested in what it was because of the means in which he communicated to me. He didn't send me something in my mail stop or call me or send me, even send me an email. It was through Twitter. So, um, so that was pretty intriguing from the beginning. And then I uh, sat down with him and when I learned more about the project, about, um, about making Keene the healthiest community by 2012 or 2020, that was very uh, intriguing to me too because as a college student living in this area of Keene, um, it seems like a hotbed for some of the things we were talking about, all the general health and you know physical and the mental health components. So, and I always wanted to become part of a project that actually uh, looked to help some of these things. And we're going to be using social media in a number of ways. We, we're going to set up a, uh, we have a Facebook page set up. We have, we're going to create a video and use that and use uh, YouTube to uh, send that around and we're doing the same with Twitter. So, and we kind of see these social media places as more of an interactive experience because when you put a story up just on a blog or on a website, you know, people read it and then it's over with. But on social media networks like Twitter and Facebook and everything, they can, you know, the dialogue can be ongoing and interactive. So we think that's especially um, efficient and especially useful for the project that we're doing. It's definitely helping us to reach out to a larger audience, a larger number of students, reaching a larger amount of faculty. Um, the five of us for e-citizenship e group could not physically be at every, um, reach 500 students through 20, 30 classrooms. So um, we thought it'd be better to use social media to reach a wider, wider amount of students. With, with the project, we're looking for something that could be used from next year and the following year and the following year. So if we create a project involving Vision 2020 and put this video up on YouTube, make a Facebook, Facebook group, Twitter, blogs, it's something that students um, next year, incoming freshmen, could look at. It's something that when they graduate, um, when seniors graduate, it's something that they could always reference to. It's always going to be accessible on the internet. And um, as students come and new a new e-citizenship group is replaced this information where we start is always going to be there and it's something that they'll be able to work from they won't have to start from scratch because this data the surveys everything will be already established for them so